Hello, my name is Shadley, and welcome back for another episode of Victoria 3 as Kingdom of Heaven in previous. Oh, wow. Right. So, we got the French Republic now. So, that revolt at least succeeded. Uh, we've got another revolt in Abyssinia, which we're helping to squash. We've got some of the armies already in there. We're technically speaking also helping uh, the Creeks in their uh, civil war there, but I don't think they really need our help too much. Especially now with the Russians joining on their side as well. And there's so many of these. Uh, Different events. Oh, and there's the war starting. So, how our troops started attacking? There is a bit of an attack going on, at least. Although, I think uh, the revolt is actually doing fairly good. Is any of that uh, my troops? No, it's just the Abyssinian army. Okay. But the Abyssinian army is not all that great, then. I suspect that my troops should start another combat soon. I'm pretty sure that my troops can at least uh, overwhelm the enemy. I've got the numbers and the quality advantage over them. Well, this might... Mm, probably not going to be a victory. That's us attacking, so that's at least kind of the good side of it. Uh, we are reducing the... Colonial institution to reduce the bureaucracy need, because we can't really utilize that anyway. And I'm guessing this war will start very shortly. Without scandal. Uh, so those are the jingoist. Uh, if I force him to step down, I suppose we'll lose an admiral, don't we? Uh, oh, Michelle is in a pope. Oh, right. Protectionists. Oh, that was from the... Right, that's the leader of the industrialists, isn't it? Right, let's have a look at the armed, old navies real quick. So it's... Uh, no, these are still fine. That's good. The armies are... Yep, oh, that's fine. Russia is still improving relations. Oh, we we'll get more infrastructure from the rural folk now. That's very handy. Uh, we are pretty close to 90 million in GDP. Just ourselves, of course, our vassals also have a decent bit. All things considered. It's, oh, we've got, already got one power plant up here in Lazio. Uh, there's probably... Oh, yeah, there's plenty of power available. We'll just go ahead and put in the logging camps work on electric sawmills. So that's going to require 25 electricity. A bit of extra tools. That's going to increase the amount of wood available quite a bit. Uh, now, how much uh, can the power plant produce? It's up to 50 electricity, so that's only going to be using about half of it. So if the urban centers start using some electric street lights, um, that would increase the employment a little bit. The services uh, production will be hugely increased, and that will also give us some other things. So that's actually not a bad one. I'm guessing we might also have electricity up here already, so let's turn these logging camps to use electric sawmills as well. And up here we could probably do the same... Most of us are working on those that we know that will at least be able to get the electricity in there. And that will reduce the wood price on our market quite a bit, which will probably help pretty much every nation in here to some degree. At least the standard of living will probably improve a little bit. Still, railway cars should be done very shortly. How are we doing on steel anyway? Um, We could use a bit more. It's not too bad though, but we could use a bit more. And there's the steel railway car, so let's go ahead and switch all of the railways. Oh, there's a steam train, right. When did we unlock this one? Don't tell me we unlocked that ages ago. Well, anyway, we'll get that and we'll get the steel railway passenger carriages. Or the steel passenger carriages and all that. And we can go with the public trade it, I think. So there we go, that probably means a whole lot more transportation available. Electricity is a bit on the low side of things. I guess we'll go ahead and build another power plant. I suppose they haven't hired fully, but we'll build another one in our capital at least. Oh, electrical capacitors are starting to spread. Okay, that's actually... That's really handy. Because that's going to allow us to start using the electricity for other things as well. Like at the textile mills and explosive batteries get a new thing to do. So yeah, that's going to be quite good. The submarine is almost done. It's only going to be like three months at most. Well, there we go. Now we're advancing into the Aristocrat Revolt territories here. Slowly getting through all of that. The glass price is a bit high. Tuscany and Lazio are having a bit of a shortage of electricity. Which I guess we'll need to go ahead and increase the level of this. I mean, I suppose they're still hiring in there, aren't they? Oh yeah, they need to hire a lot more though. So I guess it's a start. How are we looking on... So we still need quite a bit more engines. Steel. Definitely a lot more glass. We've got 280 construction right now, so that's actually pretty decent. How's the... The investment pool is still growing quite rapidly. I don't suppose... We've got any more support for the last fair? Oh, actually, we do. Rule folk would oppose that, so we'd lose the, some of the infrastructure. But industrialists do support that now, so I'm going to go for it. 
At this point, it's uh, going to be good because that means that, you know, we don't need to worry about as much of the construction ourselves. The private sector will take care of a lot of it. Although we'll still, you know, keep an eye on it, of course, but uh, we, especially during warfare and all that. And of course, uh, since there's so much uh, more construction capacity that could be used from the investment pool, it's got 60 million pounds in there. And it looks like our side is winning the civil war in Greece. Of course, our own civil war over here will be sorted out soon enough. They're losing the war support already quite drastically. Have they started building the... No, no Suez Canal yet. All right then. Well, that's going to take a while then. Uh, right, so... We've got these three already with the power plant. We've also got, uh, I believe, Emilia and Romania now. So let's go ahead and put these to use the electric sawmills as well. Just get most out of it. Sounds like standard living. It hasn't really increased yet during this war. I suspect that it will... Oh, right, the Creeks are already done with their fighting in there. We've still got a little bit more conquering to do, although we are making pretty good headway in here. Romeo has already been liberated. And it's just a matter of uh, clearing out Gondor. And then they shall surrender. Admittedly, the manpower is basically nothing at this point on the Arctic troops, so it's quite easy to fight them. And there's the submarine. Very good. Well, that's the next thing starting to spread. All action rifle. I mean, I suppose that's fine. Bit more small arms production. So we're going to afford to increase in the armies a bit further if need be. I mean, 100 battalions is not huge. But together with a relatively capable fleet, it's not too bad. Unless we start fighting against France or Austria. That's uh, not too bad, actually. Oh, there we go. Our vessel is also pushing from the other side. So I suspect that Gondor will fall soon enough. And then we shall uh, win this war. Also, neither side is going to win until the other one capitulates, so... It'll take a while. Of course, um, I don't know if they're going to take the capitulation from Abyssinia or from us. Probably from us. There's one more combat going and that is almost over. I think that might be the end of the revolt now. But they've already lost a decent chunk of their war support. And it's just a matter of a uh, few weeks and they'll probably surrender. There we go. So this is a returning home. Because I have a bit of a distance to sail. Especially since the British haven't started building the bloody Suez Canal yet. I wonder, is there anyone that we could maybe invite to the customs? A theory, maybe. I can't change anyone to our customs. Alright, well, I suppose we could improve relations with... Uh, well, Ottomans, we already improved a little bit. Uh, France, we could maybe improve Morocco. You know what? We'll improve relations with Morocco. It will get those into the market as well. Which means that we'll control most of the North Africa. At least the uh, Western North Africa. Uh, in terms of at least the market access. So we've got a little bit more um, power in here. This one's not using any power yet. Let's put the electric sawmills in there. Probably the same in here. And I'm guessing um, this one is also an option. There we go. That's, uh, well, we're still losing about £14,000 per week. So I suppose this war is almost over. And thus, uh, a lot of the troops will be... Yeah, there we go. That one's done now. Now, one, no, one thing not worth noting, rather, is uh, I'm still playing on the uh, previous patch. I have not switched to the latest one. Or the one that, uh, well, basically was released uh, during this playthrough. So I figure that it's probably not necessarily going to be compatible. And just, you know, going on with this. Oh, there we go. Last as far as all right, uh, amendment. So we might get that done soon enough. There's a whole lot more power plants being built. That was the private sector building. Uh, it's quite a selection of things, including a decent bit of steel mills, some fertilizer plants, some mill paper mills, explosive factories. Seems like a pretty good selection. And the uh, skyscraper server is uh, already half of the way done. What's this then? Oh, Siam backs down. Okay. Right, so France is getting something in Siam then. What do they get? Oh, they got the right port in there. That makes sense. And colonial affairs have been reduced. Now we've got a whole lot of bureaucracy available. Is there any other institutions that we might want to increase? I don't necessarily want to go any higher under law enforcement unless I have to. And right now, I don't think I do. At least the power plants are coming along quite nicely. And the innovation is uh, almost 154 total. The literary rate is almost 70% as well, so that's uh, pretty good. The TDP hasn't grown that much yet, but I suppose once we start getting a bit more power, 
and I'll start using that on various things that will probably help the situation. Uh, did we already get some in here? No, not yet. I guess these are the ones that are now getting the power. Unless Sardinia got one. Yeah, yeah, Sardinia did get one. Put in the electric street lights there. So that's going to be 18 electricity. And then I suppose there's the logging camps that we could also electrify. Well, there we go. That's at least a, a bit of a boost there. Now, Bruto um, should be getting the power plant very shortly. So we should be seeing that appear here. We'll be able to switch this to the electrical... Wait, it's already in here. Oh, it's not showing it in there. I think we need to refresh that. Or maybe not. They don't really have a lot of production in there. Okay, maybe if we select another stage. Oh, there we go. Okay. So it doesn't update it automatically. Good to know. Right, well, let's go ahead and get the electric sawmills going there. Is there um, there's a little bit extra population here? There's not... Well, there's some peasants in there, I suppose. Let's actually have a look at the... Uh, if we were to build something, uh, not a coffee plantation, some industry, for example... Um, let's see, job seekers. There's quite a bit of job seekers in various places, but is there... Very few peasants. Okay, so I don't think we have really any states that are really having a massive shortage of workers. There's places where, you know, there's a bit of shortage, especially the better employed workers, but, uh, or better educated. Oh, corporatism is spreading to us. Okay, I uh, will go ahead and queue that on up. So what was it that we got uh, previously? We got the... Identification document. So home affairs uh, could be upgraded. Uh, we could get that one, get a more conscription rate. Sure. And Russia's improvement relations again. I mean, it's almost maxed out, to be fair. Our plant in Apulia is almost done. Oh, Campania already got the power plant. So let's go ahead and put in the electric sawmills up there. And Apulia is now done. So let's put in the electric sawmills up there. Now we're making quite a bit of money, especially now that we're not using all the construction ourselves. Uh, is there anything that we need desperately? Glass, engine, steel. Now let's go ahead and get a bit more steel mills in here in Piedmont. We'll also get a few more glass works there. And I think what we might need to do is increase the infrastructure. No, actually infrastructure is mostly fine right now there. Okay then. Uh, did we... Oh yeah, we did switch that already. We still got... Well, there's a bit of extra demand for electricity. I'm guessing the power plants... Uh, we've got one there that is not fully hired yet. We'll build a second one there, and we'll go ahead, and after we get that, we'll switch these to use the electric street lights. That'll reduce the coal consumption a little bit. It will increase the electricity consumption, of course, but that's uh, kind of what we want to happen right now, I'll be honest. We're making good 30,000 oh, wow, £30, per week. The Great Britain wants us to join against a uh, jumpy peasant revolt. I mean, okay. I don't see why I'm going to be doing in there. But if I'm getting a obligation from Britain for that... I'll take it. Well, I have a feeling that I'm a bit of an overkill of an ally to join against uh, essentially a one-state miner. Ooh, little pros of voting. Excellent. I've got quite a bit of construction work. I mean, right now we are mostly building uh, power plants, although soon enough we'll build a whole lot of steel works, or steel mills and glass works. And I'll combine those two there. Uh, right. But... Oh, we could use a bit more fine art as well. Okay. Go ahead and queue up another one in our capital. Actually, we'll get another three. We'll get to a nice uh, round number of ten. But money is still... Oh, wow. We've got a whole lot of authority, suddenly. Oh, because we're paying only... Yeah, okay. We're not paying the full price on those. Uh, I guess what we could do is just put in some more degrees. Venetia could definitely get the manufacturing. Then Abruzzo, is that... Well, Apulia is definitely good for agriculture. So we'll get that boost there. But also, do we have agriculture down in... Oh yeah, we've got the agriculture down there. Although I suppose retail industry might be better for getting more rubber from there. And then, what do we have in Abruzzo? There's quite a bit of industries there. Oh, right, let's put a manufacturing industry boost there. So we've got 89 million right now. Once we get the market update, it'll probably... Oh, we did hit 90 billion there for a brief moment. But then it uh, fluctuated back and forth. There we go, 89.3... And this list just keeps on growing and growing here. Everyone's declaring neutrality on this nonsense of war. And I believe this is something that has changed for the new version, to be fair. So it's uh, not quite as bad as this is. Okay, there we go. One steel mill is already underway. And the Lazarus Fair is already voting. We might get that completed soon enough. There's still a whole lot more money uh, trickling into the investment pool. Or not even trickling, flooding into the investment pool. 35,000 per week. 
So that's not too shabby. And we got our, actually, non negotiating partners. So there's Netherlands, us, and Jumbi versus the Revolt. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, no, that's uh, not my problem. I'd say overall we're doing pretty good. Too. I mean, this is the highest that we've been on this particular run in GDP, at least. I think we did get to like 80 million at one point, but then we turned Abyssinia or Ethiopia into Abyssinia and a vessel of ours. So that reduced our GDP quite a bit in there. I mean, overall, our market is probably possibly the second largest market, actually. It's a bit hard to tell, but it might well be. Well, actually, if we have a look at the GDP. So Britain is definitely larger. France is larger. So I guess, uh, and Jing is larger. I guess we got the fourth largest market because um, these are the same market. Definitely got a larger market than uh, Russia does. And our GDP is actually pretty close to the, well, I suppose now that Britain is having a bit of a revolution there. Well, at least getting close to it. But now number six great power. So we've dropped thanks to the revolution in here. All right then. More power plants being completed. So how is Lazi looking like in terms of power now? It is, uh, well, still needs to hire a bit more. It's not really making a huge profit in here. Ooh, well, there's the last fair. So we can't, oh, right, we get another company. Oh boy, this is going to be brilliant. So which one should we take? That would be army and navy offense. That wouldn't be too bad. I was looking at things that would be profitable. The migration attraction could be useful. Steel mill building through, but that's actually something we kind of do need. So that's definitely a strong contender. Radicals and standard living decreases through the textile producers, so that would be okay as well. We don't have a huge amount of radicals, though. We wouldn't hurt. State construction efficiency would be useful, and that would improve the steel mills directly. And there's the formation speed. Right, so the troops move faster. But I guess getting the extra iron and lead and then getting the steel mill building through with 10% boost. That wouldn't be too bad. That would influence quite a few buildings. Forest trees wouldn't really be worthwhile or profitable enough to get the bonuses from there. And the army and navy offense would be quite handy, but I don't think we'll be fighting that many wars at this point. We'll probably increase the army size a bit further. We've got the money now. Uh, so I think we'll just go with the steel corporation, actually. Because that product is huge. That will give us quite a bit of boost on the throughput as well as construction bonus. And construction speed is going to be increased to... Uh, uh, once we get to 100 prosperity, so yeah, that'll be quite handy. How is the market looking like right now? Still need a whole lot of glass, engines. Steel is not quite as bad anymore. Of course, we are still building a lot of it. Uh, I guess another thing that I could do... What else did we have? Motor engines or engine production. I suppose Umbria could get another two levels. Get that a boost. Then I think... Oh yeah, Calabria's got one. We'll give that a boost. Oh, we don't... Oh! Right, well, I guess we could put in the electric street lights over here, at least. And we're making a whole lot of money now. Uh, so, yeah, I guess what we'll do is uh, go ahead and upgrade a bit more of the construction sectors. The Piedmont, Sardinia is one option. Tuscany... Venezia is already upgraded. Tuscany is going to get an upgrade. And I think uh, we'll go ahead and give uh, some other areas. Lazio is already upgraded. Umbria is not. Give Sardinia a boost. There we go. So that's at least two more construction sectors. So we can probably afford losing or reducing the taxes a little bit. There we go. That'll increase the standard living a bit. Because that much money from the... Well, basically, the investment pool is what we're draining right now then. Well, not really draining, but uh, having an access on. There we go. The classworks are now producing or upgrading a bit more. Uh, I suppose the Jumbo Liberal Revolt is not going to have a good time there. I don't think I really need it in that fight any way shape or form i'm uh, as a moral support not much more than that We're almost at 70 percent uh literary rate and the innovation i mean i suppose i don't know actually there's probably yeah, no no one at least in government is supporting those laws we've got the last fair now great policy we might get the free trade although no, that would radicalize so many people that it's not worth right now we could go with the private health insurance, but I suppose that would reduce the um, clergy. So I'm kind of opposed to that right now. We could go with the commercial as agriculture. Intelligentsia would oppose that. But I think we'll also go with the homesteading. That's fine. Right, so we are pretty close. Oh, skyscraper survey completed. There we go. 
So Piedmont would be the location. All right, well, let's go ahead and start building a skyscraper in there then. Go ahead and uh, toss that to the top of the list. It's going to be taking more than a year to build it. At the same time, the sooner we have that, the better. Oh, there's a right. Okay, there's a bit of revolution over there. I was wondering if all three of us having a revolution, but unfortunately not. So Britain. Well, okay. Oh, industrial design power there. Oh, we're still thinking anyway. Cod Wars somewhere. Oh, well, now the Britain or British troops are able to move in here. So I guess they did lose ground at least to some degree. Uh, uh, yeah, for sure. So maybe they could have used a bit of a help from me. But in the meanwhile, let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to hire another general down here. Maybe get the Rathal Artillery Commander. That's actually quite handy. More offensive for the artillery. So in that case, let's go ahead and get some more artillery for this army then. Get another 10. I'll also get another... Hold on, that's going to get us a 50 total. There's the capacitors. Ooh, strong strike. Well, we have gotten that already before. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, now going to allow us to start using some electricity on the tech servers mostly. Don't know what's going to start spreading in here next. The telephones wouldn't be too bad. Combustion engine would be quite handy. Artificial silk wouldn't be too bad, although we don't really need that one directly. Steam turbine would be quite useful. Plastics would be very handy. Electric art process or the mechanized farming. There's, there's so many things. Let's have a look. What will start spreading? Dramatic tools. I mean, more construction se sector building throughput is not bad. And a high discovery chance of resources, so I'll take it. Now we've got 92.5 million GDP now. Scandal and Lazio. Oh, there's a better bourgeoisie. And this is the same brothel thing. Uh, he'll have to resign. I do wonder who's uh, now authoritarian. Okay. Secret police, national guard, outlaw descent, censorship, oligarchy, autocracy, and single party state. Right. Not necessarily the most ideal situation there. Can we make a... Changes to the government? We could probably kick the petty bourgeoisie out of the government. If we really need to. But that wouldn't really increase the legitimacy at all, so we'll just hold on to this uh, current government. It's starting to work uh, relatively well. We're already building the skyscraper. That's uh, admittedly going to take another year before it's completed. We're well, increasing steel production a lot. Uh, there's still a huge demand for engines, glass, and to some degree also... Oh, actually, do we have electricity in some areas? A bit of extra, especially in places where we do produce some textiles, I suppose. This one doesn't have any... Oh, right. What? You don't have a textile? No, you do have a textile mill. Okay. Let's put in the electricity machine. So that's going to take uh, 20 electricity. That's going to provide a bit more stuff. We don't actually need to put in the uh, job saving or worker saving things there. Or reducing the worker numbers there. With the logging camps on the electric sawmills as well. So all of that is pretty decent. How is Niger doing? So we've got... I guess we could put in the electric street lights in here. Provide some better jobs, at least. And the logging camp, I suppose, could also use the electric sawmills. There we go. That's uh, going to provide some better jobs. More wood. I'm guessing wood is something that we are producing a bit much. Yeah, we've got an uh, extra of uh, almost 4,000. It's not too shabby. We also had a little bit extra tea. But that's from Ethiopia or Abyssinia, I reckon. Not from uh, Congo. There's quite a bit of support for universal suffrage. They're not very radical for it, but uh, there is quite a bit of support for it. But again, that would basically mean that we would not be a theocracy anymore, so... That'll have to wait. Oh, right, yeah, the construction efficiency in Piedmont is pretty high. I think this one's got a lot higher capacity that it can be built, compared to everything else. Or maybe not, actually. Well, regardless, uh, the work is being done there. Still need a lot more engines, though. I suppose now that we've got enough steel, we can probably produce motor industries. A few more, at least, in Piedmont. How are we doing infrastructure there? We Not too bad. We might need to get a little bit more government administration to get the taxation capacity a bit higher. Although, this skyscraper will probably help with that a decent bit as well. So, we're still taking us being at war. Mostly in name only, but uh, I guess the landings over here aren't... Um... Oh, no. They did actually succeed. So now they just need to clear out that side of the state and yeah, that war will be done. Well, not immediately, but soon enough it will be. Right, anyone else that we could maybe invite into the customs union? A theory, but I don't think theory is really going to be worthwhile. There's only a tiny nation there. 
and then change to our custom tuning in Belgium, Dynam, Denmark. None of those would really want to switch either. Oh, and Egypt is in Russian market. Okay. We've got good relations with them. Ah, right. Okay. We can't uh, change to our custom tuning yet, but they would not accept that deal anyway. Because they've got a fairly high GDP. Our GDP is higher than theirs, of course, but uh, they've got a fairly high regardless. Oh, looking on. Okay, we still need a whole lot of glass. Steel is not that bad, but glass production is something that we definitely need to increase a bit further. Get a few more glass works. Also, maybe a few more up here. We're still seeing some many convoys somehow. I mean, it doesn't surprise me. We've got still the fleet up here, don't we? I could probably go ahead and send you back to the. HQ though. And similarly, this one's going to go back to the HQ. Oh, there we go. Capitulation. Go to Italy. But there we go. That's one war done. I wonder, actually, if we have a look at the... Especially power. I suppose power isn't listed in here. Oh, there we go. So now we can see areas where there's... Uh... The Attic has got a little bit balanced. Uh... The Delta's got a little bit extra... Switzerland could use a bit more power, but that's not our building. Uh, Sardinia could use a bit of extra as well. I guess we'll build one extra there. Tuscany could get a one. Most of the areas are actually fairly decent. I suppose they might not be producing any extra if they are not needing. This could be used slightly. Oh, right, we need a lot more engines as well, of course. Well, that makes sense. But with that, we are unfortunately out of time for this episode. So if you enjoyed this, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, but other than that, thank you very much for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.